What up world, back with another one. Super turbo jazzed about this one today. As you can see up front, we got the loaded Mexi Tot Deluxe sort of deal. The only thing that's missing maybe is some chicken or some seasoned beef. Didn't have any uh, in the leftovers, so we're gonna have to make do with a more sort of vegetarian style, but I'm not going full vegetarian because there was leftovers of the Fam Jam's cookout. And the Fam Jam, we cooked up some ray ups. So, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, they were there, but deep in the back, if we tip up, tip up, don't slip up, we got some good, good ribs with a bourbon honey barbecue sauce. And I basted those suckers up nice and saucy and thick because you know how I like it, saucy and thick. Don't we all in this world? Of course, we got the Valentino on deck to top this out. Let's do that now. Also, what is also missing for me from here is just some shredded iceberg lettuce. You guys know I love shredded iceberg lettuce, so there's that. But we must douse in the Valentina. And we just need to show you. Just a little up close and personal, just to get you craving at 2, 3 a.m., ruining your waistline. Sorry, guys. Trying my best to not ruin mine. Um, I've still been on my eat eating pattern. I've been working and stuff, physical jobs. So, you know, I feel like it's good. Uh, it hasn't gone too crazy yet, but I do feel like I gotta reel it in a little bit. But uh, for now, I just worked all day. I didn't eat all day. I've been dreaming of this all day. And I'm ready to get to it. So, we do it. I'll tell you exactly what's in here after I fail at getting a good bite. The cheese is just keeping it all together. Oh, she's piping. Please come together. Well, that's for now. play around you won't be around it's exactly what this is so we got the tater tots cooked up and because I was so starving I did let them go crispy but I couldn't I just couldn't help myself like I pulled them just a little bit early because I like them really, really crisp, but I was just way too hungry, way, way too hungry. Right, check that out. Got the fresh blast white. I gotta, uh, I gotta do those. When I do my load of them in bleach though, to make them fresh for each video. I feel like aesthetics are key. Speaking of aesthetics, I hope you're, at this point, you've realized that the setup has changed, the background has changed, it's a little more polished and crisp. We got me floating in black, in nothingness. I'm quite liking it. It makes for way easier, more effective thumbnails. Mm, but back to what I put on this. So I got the tots, shredded mozzarella, and then I didn't have any queso, so I just put some cheese slices, melted that out, pulled it, Salsa, sour cream, pickled jalapenos, tomatoes. Would have loved some shredded lettuce, would have loved some green onions, but hey, life ain't perfect. 
I work with what we got. And what I got right now is gratitude and appreciation for this meal. It is good. Okay, dainty under the eye wipe. Because the Valentine's got me fired up. Also, I'm in my cutoff. With my Iron Man shirt underneath. Under Armour. Under Armour. Why did I say it like that? Okay, I need to get to a rib though. Like I told you, we're keeping it saucy. Check it. And we go. Oh yeah. Super random combo, but cannot let the food go to waste. I say that because I'm going out of town to go motocross racing for the weekend outside of Duluth in Minnesota tomorrow. So shout out to any of my subscribers out that way. I'll be pitting and sleeping out at the track. Sort of camping out, but not really camping out because it's in like a big rig, so. It's my dad's buddy. But gonna ride Saturday, race Sunday. I used to go to this track religiously since I was 12. And then, since living in Toronto, I, I went like a few times over the years, but the last time I've been has been, I don't know, five years probably. That's like the funnest, best track. It's so nice. And I'm just so excited to to go ride it like I'm just so hyped I'm I'm actually like giddy about it because riding a dirt bike is like the one of the funnest things ever especially when like you've been doing it for a long time and you have control and you know how to go fast and jump and all that stuff and you don't really crash that much it's the closest thing to flying there is and in that moment like in sports like that just nothing else matters life doesn't matter none of your worries matter money doesn't matter relationships don't matter the only thing that matters in that moment is you and the machine and making sure that you hit that next obstacle perfectly and, and fast and on the right timing and that's why extreme sports all sports in general kind of do that but extreme sports is because it's just you making sure you don't like hurt yourself and die but you're riding that edge of just like something intense. When you take a big jump on a dirt bike, like I've done, you know, 120 feet, 40 feet in the air. It's just like, it's the closest thing to flying there is for me.
but I would love definitely on my bucket list is doing like a wingsuit I would love to do a wingsuit those guys that zip in between the mountains and stuff you could catch me out there doing that big time super hyped I kind of want to go skydiving too even though I feel like that would just be like less I just feel like those wingsuits would be so much more fun guys worry this video will probably come out after that weekend and over the weekend I've already queued up all these other videos for you guys to watch so I'm staying ahead of myself taking care of you guys making sure you have stuff to view being on it It's actually a weird YouTube thought I've had before is do people and I'm sure it might be true I think but I wonder if people like to imagine that when the video drops it's not like it didn't happen a week ago like it happened like today like you filmed it and uploaded it today I feel like a lot of people like live in that fantasy or like you know pretend in their head that the video is like fresh off the press that day but a lot of people be filming a couple videos a day and then taking a few days off but scheduling them ahead of time. So that it can just roll out. I used to run the ragged edge of film, edit, upload in one day. And every video I dropped was like, I made it that day. But let me tell you, doing it the alternate way, where you like bang out a bunch and then have them pre-uploaded is so much more stress-free and actually gives you like, you just don't have that on your shoulder at all times being like, I need to make a video today because I got to upload something. It's like, you're already set up. You're already prepared. If something comes up, you can go do it. If you feel like shit that day, you can just chill and be easy and like not worry about uploading. Let me tell you this for you non-YouTubers. YouTube pressure is real. Every creator will tell you that in the back of their mind, they're always like, running ideas, thinking about the next thing. When am I gonna upload? What am I gonna upload? What do I, what do I wanna do this week? A constant battle. Mm, see, that's the thing. You work a whole a whole job, like day a job of work, physical man work, and you don't really eat. Like today, I had like two pepperoni sticks and a water. You come home, you make a plate, and you just murder it. That was delicious, easy. Killed it. So good. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Until the next one, you know what to do. Don't sweat through your eyeballs eating. Also, eat good, live well, stay true.